And first and four, we found out today the University of Cincinnati is reviewing allegations related to the men's basketball program. Here to tell us more about what's going on is sports anchor Caleb No. Caleb, what's the whole backstory here? Yeah, Craig, I think that's the important, the important thing, and I think the key word here is allegations, right? And the question right now is, what are those allegations? I'm going to show you what the university said today, and then I'll kind of backpedal a little bit and talk about what may have led up to that. But first, here is the statement. This just came out earlier today, this morning. The University of Cincinnati, in conjunction with independent fact finders will commence a review of allegations related to its men's basketball program. So you see there, there are no specific allegations mentioned. Now the University of Cincinnati's athletic director, John Cunningham, in his own statement said this about the situation. He said the university has always put the welfare of its student athletes first. We feel this is an essential step to ensure that all of our athletic programs meet the highest standards. So again, key word, allegations. That's what we're still waiting to learn more about. What are those allegations? Well, it's important to look back over the last week and a half or so. You see, last Sunday, the Bearcats lost in the conference championship game after sort of a good late season run. But within about two and a half days after that, six players entered the transfer portal, which means they intend to leave the program. That's a lot of players for a basketball team. Now, it's important to note this is the very first thing today that we've heard from the university since then in the last couple of weeks. Many fans were concerned about that level of silence when the program was down to just a handful of scholarship players for the upcoming season. That is assuming that those six guys intending to transfer do indeed leave. We will have more on this story coming up tonight at 5, 6, and then later on tonight at 11 o'clock. It's important to note that this is a pretty fluid situation, and things can certainly change or develop throughout the night. So remember, you can always get the latest coverage on our website, WCPO.com. Craig.